First responders arrived on scene where two, big, uh, two victims were found. Uh, they were taken to an area hospital and treated for their injuries they sustained in the accident. Uh, there was a total of seven people in the vehicle. Uh, we can confirm uh, the two survivors and that we have confirmed four deceased at this time. There is one person still unaccounted for and the search is continuing at this point for that individual. And how long will the search last? Uh, until uh, through the night. And do we have any idea of what led to them ending up? Uh, all the circumstances around are still under investigation. So there's new information that one of the people you're looking for has been released? We've, we've said, earlier in our previous press release, we had only recovered two deceased at that point. Now we have recovered two additional deceased for a total of four at this time. Deceased, okay. and we're still looking for the other. Have y'all removed the vehicle? The rescue squad is currently in the process of uh, extricating the vehicle from the lake. Is that where the two were found? Or Correct. Okay, for female, female. Uh, we can't release that information this time. We're still trying to notify the families on who we found. You know the age? Uh, we can't yeah. release that at this time. Okay. Uh, what any information about the car? Uh, it was a small SUV type car. I don't have the make or model at this time. The out of state line? Still trying to notify the family on the last release. Uh, we can't confirm that at this time. There were no young children involved uh, And then hopefully uh, we'll have another formal 